Welcome to the presentation of CalFresh for Students. How to stretch your food budget with CalFresh, a partnership between Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services and Los Rios Community College District. My name is Erica Ledbetter. I am the CalFresh Outreach Assistant Manager at Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services, and I will be your presenter. And just so you all know, our contact information will be shared at the end of this presentation. And please feel free to reach out with any questions. Today's agenda. What is CalFresh? CalFresh for students, addressing common myths and concerns, how to apply, food finder and services, and questions and answers. What is CalFresh? CalFresh is the program formerly known as Food Stamps. It provides a monthly allotment for food purchases for low-income households on an electronic benefit transfer card, also known as an EBT. CalFresh benefits are given to households. Who is in the CalFresh household determines whose income to count and the amount of benefits the household receives. A household can be a person living alone or a group of people living together who buy food and make meals together. Members of a CalFresh household do not need to be related. A person who lives with others but customarily buys and prepares food separate and apart from others can be a separate household. Allowable purchases with your CalFresh EBT card are fresh produce, dairy products, meat, fish, poultry, dry and canned foods, frozen foods, fruit and vegetables, seeds, and plants to plant your own edible garden. Basically, you can purchase anything with your CalFresh card that's a food item that you are going to take home and prepare. Your card can be used at grocery stores, even big box membership stores accepted. You can also use it at convenience stores, such as gas stations and neighborhood markets. Anywhere where you see EBT accepted, you can use your card to buy food items. Some great things happening with CalFresh right now are you can now um, purchase groceries for delivery online through walmart.com and amazon.com. So you're able to order food online that you would normally buy with your EBT card in person and select the home delivery service. And just to keep in mind, there is a minimum purchase, I believe, of $35 in order to receive free home delivery through walmart.com and amazon.com. If you do not buy enough to meet that minimum requirement, you would have to pay for the delivery service through a different form of payment. Currently, your CalFresh benefits would not cover that charge. When you go to check out on walmart.com or amazon.com, you enter your CalFresh 16 digit EBT card and then a pop up will appear for you to enter in your four digit pin number. We also have some great um, news for about farmers markets. You can use your card, your CalFresh card at these markets. What you would do is you would go to the EBT station to access the funds that you have on your card. You would tell the worker how much you would like to take off, enter in your pin number, and then they would issue you vouchers or coins to use with the participating vendors at that particular farmer's market. They also have something really great called Market Match, which is an incentive to use your EBT CalFresh benefits at the farmer's markets. The Market Match allows you to purchase more fruits and vegetables. And you can learn more at marketmatch.org on what farmer's markets are issuing that and where you can also use your um, EBT CalFresh card. We also have the Restaurant Meal Program. Now this is for CalFresh recipients who are homeless, disabled, and or seniors that are unable to prepare food or do not have access to a kitchen. And you can use the EBT card to purchase hot prepared food items at participating restaurants. 
Currently, there are 40 restaurants in Sacramento County that are a part of the restaurant meal program. You can find the lists on our website or through Sacramento County websites. All right, CalFresh for students. You may be eligible for CalFresh if you are between 18 to 49 years old, attending school at least half time, and your household's monthly gross income falls below these limits based on the number of people in your household. Please keep in mind for Los Rios, if you are um, enrolled in at least six units, you are considered half time. And if you are enrolled in 12 units, you are considered full time. And then the amount of CalFresh benefits a household gets depends on how many people are in the household and how much monthly net income remains after taking allowable deductions. The maximum monthly allotment one person can receive in California if receiving CalFresh is $194. The minimum is 16. And each household is a unique case. So your Department of Human Assistance caseworker will inform you if you get approved and for how much. In addition, students must meet one of the following requirements to qualify for CalFresh. You must be working and getting paid for at least 20 hours per week or a total of 80 hours a month on average, or you must be approved for work study programs or attending or participating in an on the job training program or receiving CalWORKs benefits or have a child under age six or have a child between age six and 12 and no child care services available or are a single parent who attends school full time and has a child under 12. We understand the rules for students can be complex. If you are unsure you qualify or not for CalFresh, Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services is able to assist you and answer any questions you may have. In addition, if you receive financial aid, such as, excuse me, financial aid, grants, or enrolled in a training program, you might be exempt from being required to meet one of the preceding requirements. So you have a checklist over here to the right. You can see if you are receiving any of, of that financial aid or grants or in one of the training programs, you would check that off, you would submit it with your application, and then you would provide proof uh, to the CalFresh caseworker that you um, are exempt from having to have one of the requirements on the preceding slide. And it would be your responsibility to provide these verifications. Um, you can also get them through your financial aid office at um, whatever location you are at at Los Rios. There are many um, myths and concerns around CalFresh. We have a few we wanted to share with you. Uh, one is my financial aid will decrease if I get CalFresh. It's absolutely not true. CalFresh will not impact financial aid amounts. CalFresh is only for families with children. That is absolutely not true. CalFresh is for everyone who qualifies, including single adults. And our last myth or misconception is, I was approved for work study, but don't have a work study job, so I'm not eligible. Once again, that's absolutely not true. You still might be eligible for CalFresh, even if you don't have a work study job, as long as you are approved for work study. So that means when you completed the FAFSA prior to the school year, you would indicate you are interested in a work study job. Even if you do not attain a work study job while you are in school, enrolled in school, you would still be eligible for that exemption with CalFresh. And once again, your CalFresh caseworker would be able to answer any of those questions that you might have regarding the exemptions for students. Okay. And then if you are interested in applying for CalFresh, there are a few avenues you could pursue. You could go to the Campus Financial Aid or CalWORKs office to receive a CalFresh application assistance referral. You could contact Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services directly through our number on the screen. You could email our CalFresh team, the email address that's provided, or you could go directly to our website and you could fill out an online inquiry for CalFresh 
and one of our team members would get back to you. Or if you were interested, you could go and click on the link to apply for CalFresh right then and there. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a tour of how to utilize our website. The third option would be you could contact the Department of Human Assistance directly at the number listed. All right, so we are gonna to go to access our website and show you how to find Food Finder, how to utilize it, how to apply for CalFresh, and how to see what other services Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services offers. So I'm gonna click on the link. All right, and here we are at our newly designed, redesigned, excuse me, website. So you have the picture of Anna's All In, gives a story about Anna and her family. Now we have been redirected to our newly redesigned website. You see a picture of Anna's All In with her and her daughters. I'm gonna show you how to navigate our website. So in the upper left-hand corner, you have a big red rectangular button. This is for our emergency response agencies who are currently distributing food distribution during the pandemic. So I'm going to click on that link and we will be redirected to our emergency response agencies page. Now we're going to slowly scroll down. You can view this um, on the screen as is right now or you can click here to see the PDF and download that. So as you can see, we have the list of our agencies that are distributing food. You have their full address. You have their phone number if it's available. And then you're gonna have the hours that they're open for food distributions. That far right column that you see is gonna have information or notes about each distribution if there's anything special you need to know. So for example, with the first one, Antioch Progressive Church, you have your address. You see that they're open from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays only. And it tells you in the notes that the signups for food start at 9 a.m. and then the food distribution starts at 11. That means you have to come to sign up. So it'd be a good idea to come before 11 o'clock. The earliest would be 9 a.m. We also wanted to let you know about two of our direct food distributions that we are doing right now. They're currently um, listed on here. We have Christian Brothers High School, which is in the um, South Sac Oak Park area. And we have a huge distribution going on there. It's currently on Thursday mornings, um, starting at 9 a.m. It is completely touchless and social distancing is being practiced. We are asking that people drive in. They let us know some um, household information and then groceries are put into their vehicle um, by a volunteer or staff member, and you can be on your way. Um, the second one is happening at Encina High School, which is in the Arden Arcade area, and that one is on Tuesdays, and it is that starts at 9 a.m., and once again, it is practicing social distancing and touchless, and they're asking that you drive through to pick up the items. You can even pick up for another household who is not um, able to make it. You would just need to have a handwritten note from that person if you'd like to pick up for them. Okay, please keep in mind that this list is subject to change at any time. So you are gonna wanna access it um, the day or the day before that you are going to um, go to one of these sites just to make sure everything is up to date. Okay, now we're gonna go back and there's another way you can access food as well. It's called Find Food. We're gonna click on that. And we have our Find Food page. Gives you a little information. Now, there's this section right here where you can type in either an address, your city, or your zip code. I'm gonna type in a zip code. And you can see over here, you can have it list um, the distance from where you are, one mile, five miles, 10 miles, or 20 miles it will filter through and list how many locations uh, or the locations within the five mile radius, one, 10 or 20. And you can also tell it how many results you want it to show. So it could be a minimum of 25 agencies that pop up, 50, 75 or 100, okay? So I've typed in my zip code. I'm going to hit search. And then you're gonna see a map pops up 
with um, all of those partner agencies that are in the zip code. So I'm going to come over here and click on one of the um, pins and you'll see it tells me the name of the agency, the address, their phone number, and what day they're open. Okay. So that is another way you can find um, partner agencies so that you can go to a food distribution. We also wanted to show you how you can send us an inquiry for CalFresh or start your application online. So we're gonna to go to everything we offer and we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see a list starting with clothing, tells you what our services are with clothing. Then we see food. We wanna click on CalFresh. So we're gonna click on that and we are brought up to our CalFresh page. And if you're interested, like I told you before, you could find out more about those restaurant meal programs. If you're eligible for CalFresh, we'll take you, to, um, if you click on this link to that information, there's information for the farmer's markets, um, CalFresh for students, and then um, our response and CalFresh response to COVID-19, what's going on right now. Then you can also scroll down and notice you can apply now or you can get more information. So if you click on apply now, you will be redirected to our, our, am I eligible for CalFresh on our um, website? And then you just double check and see how many people are in your household. Make sure you're coming in that under that gross monthly income for that number of people. And you're gonna uh, click on apply now and be redirected to getcalfresh.org. Takes about 10 minutes to uh, submit your application. Great thing about getcalfresh.org, it's very user friendly and you will start to uh, get text messages and email reminders on following through with your application and to let you know what to expect with the Department of Human Assistance and the whole application process. I'm gonna close that. And then we are gonna go back, click on everything we offer, go back to our CalFresh page to show you how you can submit an inquiry. If you're just, you wanna ask some questions about CalFresh, you're not really sure, um, you can click on, I need more information. And then you're directed to the page with information about the basic information for applying, which is the household, the number in your household and your gross monthly income. Then you're gonna come down here and complete the boxes for the CalFresh inquiry form. So we definitely need to know your name, your address is helpful, zip code, we're definitely gonna need your phone number and your email, as those are the two ways that we will contact you. Um, it's helpful to also fill in how many people do you regularly purchase and prepare food with, including yourself. Um, how many people who live in your house are US permanent residents? And is anyone in your household currently receiving um, SSI, which is known as Supplemental Security Income? Um, and then any comments that you'd want us to let us know about before we call you. Okay, and once you complete that, then you would hit submit and that would come to us and we would call you hopefully within about 24 hours, if not sooner. Okay, all right, so I am gonna come back up here and I wanna go back to everything we offer. So right now with the um, pandemic and COVID-19, many of our services are closed. Um, our main services that are open are uh, CalFresh and the food. Um, distributions with, through our partner agencies and our two direct food distributions. But as you can see, we offer many other services. Um, it starts over here with clothing. If you click underneath the header to find out more about the program, the services offered within that program, so you can learn more about clothing. When we are um, under normal hours of op operation, these would be the hours. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and so on. You would always wanna just double check this if you're interested in coming just to make sure all the information is up to date because it is subject to change. And it tells you a little bit about um, people that have come or you know, how many articles of clothing we've given out and what you can get when you come and who's eligible, okay? So I am going to arrow back and this will take us back to the page of everything we offer. And then you can see we have computer and technology and we have basic computer classes that you could take. Um, we have job development assistance and workshops. And then we just have an open computer lab that you could access. And then you can see we have adult learning, parent education, um, immigration, 
information for refugees and utilities assistance. So when we are back resuming normal hours, please feel free to look more into our services we offer. We have a wide um, variety and we pretty much can help anyone zero to 99 with our services. Okay, and thank you so much for joining us for this presentation. Once again, my name is Erica Ledbetter with Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. I am the CalFresh Outreach Assistant Manager. My contact information is available to you now, by email or um, by phone. Please feel free to give us a call or email with any questions whatsoever. And thank you so much for joining us.